In this video, we are going to be learning how to configure the burp suite with your Firefox browser. The first thing you need to do is start the burp suite. So first click on the Kelly button here and search for burp suite. Click on the burp suite icon to start it. Keep temporary project selected and then click on next. Keep use burp default selected and then click on start burp. The next thing we're going to do is open up Firefox and go to the site we want to test. As you can notice, Burp Suite does not intercept the traffic by default because by default, Firefox will not use Burp Suite as its proxy. So to configure it, first go to the proxy tab. From here, click on proxy settings. As you can see, Burp Suite is listening to the port 8080. So we have to do the configuration in such a way so that the traffic first comes from Firefox to the port 8080 and then goes to the website. And when the website responds back, the reverse will happen. The traffic will first go from the website to the burp suite and then to the Firefox. Since Firefox uses port 80 and 443, we have to change it. So first click on the upper right corner, the three dash line to open application menu and then click on settings. Under general tab, scroll to the extreme bottom and under network settings, click on settings. When the network settings window opens up, select manual proxy configuration and under HTTP proxy, we have to type the value that we saw on Burp Suite. So the local host interface 127001 in the port 8080. So I'll type this here. The port would be 8080. I will check mark this box. Also use this proxy for HTTPS and then click on OK. The next thing we're going to do is open another tab and type HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash burp and then press enter click on advanced click on accept the risk and continue here click on the upper right corner which says cs certificate and i can see that the csr.dir file has been downloaded in my downloads directory so i will go back to the settings menu again and in the search field in find in settings i will type certificates i will click on view certificates select authorities and then click on import I know that my file got downloaded into the downloads directory. So I'll select the downloads directory and select the file csr.dir and then click on open. Check mark these two boxes. Trust this CA to identify website. Trust this CA to identify email users and then click on OK. And then click on OK again. And now our configuration is complete. And now if I go back to my website and start my burp suite under proxy, under intercept, if I turn the intercept on and refresh the website, I can see that the traffic is getting intercepted and if I click on the HTTP history, I can see the details about the traffic. Make sure you do not intercept any traffic of any website that you do not have the permission to own. That would be completely unethical and illegal. I am intercepting the traffic of my own local host website. So please do not intercept traffic of any public website. Other than that, if your burp suite is not getting connected to your local host website, open another tab and type about colon config and press enter click on accept the risk and continue and in the search preference name type network dot proxy and make sure the network dot proxy dot allow hijacking local host is turned to true if it is turned to false click on this button and turn to true so that is how you connect burp speed with firefox that is for the end of the video thank you so much for watching